if you consider yourself as an intermediate or an advanced level meditator, even a mid-level meditator, but somehow recently you realize that you've fallen out of your practice, you don't feel so much eagerness to sit on the meditation cushion, or maybe you don't feel so satisfied or get joy out of it after you complete your practice. But also on a mind level, you know that this is your lifestyle. You want to practice this for the rest of your life. You don't want to give up on this. And at some point in your life, meditation was the only thing that has worked for you to overcome X, Y, Z. But again, somehow you think that meditation has lost its magic for you in your life or lost its place in your life, but you want to get back to that practice with even more eagerness and all that and this video is definitely for you. In this video, I'll give you one perspective and this perspective maybe you've never heard of before or maybe you've never thought of like implementing that perspective into meditation, but either way, this will change the way how you look at meditation. As a result, you will increase the joy that you get out of your practices, but also we will increase the surprise factor in your life because maybe that's why you've fallen out of this practice because it's lost its magic and you lost the surprise factor in the process, it's predictable, you know what to expect in the beginning, middle, at the, at the end of the practice, but it doesn't have to be that way and it's supposed not to be connection and how uh, we can easily get connected with the divine. This is the this is why we are doing this practice. And the divine is full of surprises and magic. This one perspective that we will focus on this video, where you will also increase the richness of your experiences during your practice. Expect to carry what you tap into during those your practices into your everyday life throughout your day so that the surprise factor will follow you. And that will be maybe the one driving factor, the surprise and the magic will get you into the cabin meditation cushion. If you are like me or if you're like the majority of the people, meaning like you're the first person in your family who started meditating, you haven't learned it from your parents, it's not something very common in your family, you learn it from YouTube or from the books and all, then probably you are meditating in order to overcome some, something or in order to reach to a certain level, in order to change your state of being, in order to overcome stress, in order to uh, open your heart and attract love, in order to like um, visualize the, the dream job at the end of your meditation practices, maybe you just do your visualizations and all. But somehow, at the end of the day, you do it in order to get something out of. Maybe this is the first mistake to begin with. Yes, it is helpful. Yes, we are um, using our meditation practices to visualize something at the end or to lower our stress levels or etc. etc. But it's not the whole point. And maybe we are missing the whole fundamental point of meditation. That's why... Uh, it, we reach this critical point in our practices that we need to, um, you know, open our eyes and open our mind to a new level how yogis or like, I don't know, gurus uh, or Buddhist monks meditate and what kind of ways that you use and what kind of approach that they um, use for meditation. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, meditation practice says helps us quiet our mind and helps us get in touch with our inner being so that we can hear its voice, so that we can be more in connection with the divine, which is, in you know, it's like for me, the divine and the universe equates with infinity. So the infinite potentials, the magic, the surprise. So if we want to tap into the surprise and the magic in the universe, aka in our life, because we are a part of the universe as well, then we need to really like quiet our mind, but also quiet and lower our expectations that we want to get out of this practice. So when we sit on the meditation cushion, if you want to tap into this magic, the wisdom, the surprise, and we want to get more joy out of those practices, then we need to leave all our expectations behind, maybe for a while, and then open up to the divine and what it will bring to us during that session at a given moment. Because most of the time we have one intention on our mind to, let's say, I don't know, I don't know, like I want to lower my stress levels. I want to visualize this dream job that I want to have before we start this 
meditation process, which is actually uh, acceptable if we combine it at the end of the practice. But if it is the way how we start the process in the beginning, then we uh, lower the um, lower the crack and like lower the area that the magic can enter, and we just all, all, almost like there there is like we left no space for magic to enter because we filled up with, with the whole space with our expectations which is for that session i just want to visualize even better the job that i want to attract into my life so my suggestion for you if you want to increase the joy that you want to get out of your practices and feel the eagerness all the time every day all day every day before you start your practices is to lower your expectations and just sit on the cushion and be open to the divine and what it will bring to you during that session like again you of course like we will focus on our breathing or if you're focusing on looking at a candlelight or if you're focusing on us on something that that is like stable like a like like the sound of the clock the sound of the air conditioner or anything like that in your room but then have no expectation of that session like just just say that I just want to be more connected with the divine. I just want to have a better communication with the universe. And I'm so, and I'm like open to what it will bring to me for the session. What I need to know, how I need to proceed, even like what I need to experience in that given moment. Just be open to that experience. This, this is actually the magic factor and how you can invite the magic factor into your practices. In this way, I save myself from thinking of like coming up with an agenda every time that I sit on this cushion. And instead, I just eagerly sit on the cushion and just wait for a movie if it will choose to show, if, if it will be, um, choose to, in, to show itself to me in, in front of me. So at any time, like every, every time that I, choose to go on that path and choose to trust the universe to show me what I need to know or what I need to experience during that um, practice time. It always surprised me and it was like always so amazing and it was always like um, better than uh, what I will conjure up during that time. If, you know, even Because even our visualizations um, processes like um, yes, it is. It, we can visualize anything, everything. It's like endless, but it is still coming from our mind. And it, it after a while, over time, it become, it becomes boring. So that was actually the the, the point, that breaking point for me, uh, when I realized that oh, I'm just kind of losing the. I don't feel like waking up so early in the morning because I feel like I lack dra drive to for practice my um, meditation. And I realized that, okay, there, I, there must be something that I'm doing wrong here. And I realized that that was the thing. I mean, because I kind of run out of creativity of like thinking about like what to think of during this process, during this time, should I focus on creating this type of thing in my life? Should I focus on creating that type of thing in my life? Visualizing this experience, visualizing that type of opportunity. Then I realized that, okay, I mean, Yes, if I need to focus on something, you know, specific, I can, and I can attract whatever I want to in my life, but is it going to bring me the joy that I really want to feel? Because at the end of the day, sometimes we reach um, an end point, the end of the road almost, like even manifesting does not give us the joy that we um, want to feel ultimately. The um, and if you want to keep, if you want to watch this new video that I've um, created about the dark side of manifestation, it doesn't give you the joy, still no joy, even after you manifest what you wanted, you can just watch that video as well, but you don't need to leave this video because I will remind you at the end of this video. But if it is not going to give me the joy at the end of it, even though the thing that I am so religiously um, visualizing day and night during my meditation process or at the end of it, then what's the whole point? So I realized that after a while I reached the end of my creativity and that's why I wasn't feeling eager 
to practice meditating because I ran out of new ideas and new creations on my mind or it was like boring to focus on the same visualization movie on my mind. And the second thing was because I was following that type of routine, it became um, boring because it, it became so predictable that I knew I, I knew that how it will start, I knew that how it will develop, and I knew that how it will end. So there was no surprise for me, but because the meditating supposed to be um, supposed to mean and supposed to help us in a totally different way, I realized that I guess life made me come to this breaking point and then open myself up to something else and a new way of practicing, which is to open myself up to divine and stop expecting anything and stop guiding the movie, but just to be open to the experience anytime I sit on the cushion and just wait for the movie to appear in in, in, um, in my eyes and just follow it and follow it and follow it. So if, if I want to, you know, still end this practice, end that uh, practice, with a, a specific thing that I want to focus on to, you know, change my state of being, open myself up to new experiences, visualize a new opportunity and anything like that. I still do it. But for the beginning of it, I decided that I will just open myself up. I will just be, you know, totally um, allowing and in, in a receiving state. I will have no expectation. I will totally trust the divine. And just patiently sit there and just, I don't even want to say wait, but yeah, some kind of like waiting to, you know, divine to come and communicate with me. So I bet if you change and make some adjustments within your process after watching this video and everything that we have touched on uh, within this video... I'm sure there will be some surprising moments that you will feel during your practices and also those surprising factors, this magic that you felt during your process will definitely, uh, will definitely be, you know, continue during your day as well. It will spread into your daily life as well because the moment you realize that like something that you've n- you haven't expecting it, you haven't expected to experience, you almost uh, be elevated to a totally different level of energies and all. And then because of that, you will feel the divine in you. You will be in touch with the um, divine elements within you and realizing it will give you so much energy, you know, will increase the frequency that you emit so that you will... You don't need to do anything but just to carry the energy throughout your day. And then the magic will come and attach itself to you during your day as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this video helped you in some way because when I realized this perspective and I realized this point, I mean, it really helped me shift um, the way how I look at my practices. Because as I mentioned in the beginning, I really wanted to continue meditating and wanted to make it my lifestyle and is everything in life everything's supposed to grow and expand and change and i knew that this experience that i'm having because this is the communication at the end of the day a communication with the divine and i knew that this communication and the 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 level of this communication and the texture of it the um the taste of it will eventually grow and expand and when i realized that i almost felt like okay i've kind of like upgraded to a new level in meditating and I immediately wanted to make a video about it so I hope that you found this video helpful so if you want to adjust certain things in your meditation practices or you want to deepen your practices then I'll be happy to be with you and to work on your unique circumstances and you can schedule your free 45 minutes call and the link is in the description box below I'll be happy to see you one-on-one and If not, then I'll see you in the next video. Please take care. Until then, much love.